Welcome back to the channel, Pokemaniacs. We've got some leaked photos of some Jazz Bears figures that are coming out soon. These are what look to be some like mock-ups of some upcoming two-inch vinyl figures of Fue Coco and of Bidoof. Both of these are gonna be must-haves for me. And I never realized like in both of these signature poses, how similar Fue Coco and Bidoof kind of look. It's interesting. And shout out to Visigam, Visigam, I don't know how to pronounce it, but shout out to them on Discord for sharing these photos. There's also a new image of a four and a half inch Heracross figure going around on the internet. The assumption is that this will be released soon, but uh, pretty sweet because, uh, I mean, Heracross is kind of cool. And we have that upcoming raid day in Pokemon Go for Mega Heracross. I don't know. Probably won't make it out in time for that, but uh, just, I don't know, coincidence. Jazzwares did release photos of the new Squish models that are coming up featuring Dragonite, and now we have official photos of Meryl. Stock has been pretty good on these lately, so hopefully you are able to find the Meryl and the Dragonite if you're looking to get those. But first up, they will be on Pokemon Center, and they'll have that Pokemon Center exclusive little stitching badge on their uh, hip, we'll say. But after that, they should be hitting retailers like Walmart, Target, and GameStop. During EUIC this past weekend, there were some displays at the pop-up shop there showing off some new merchandise, specifically the pins that they were showcasing. These images were kind of floating around on the internet, I'm not sure where they originated from, but these pins kind of giving us the whole roadmap of what's going to happen the rest of this year because it is the year of the dragon, they are releasing monthly pins, and uh, we basically just have the whole layout right there, so spoilers I guess. But additionally, there were some photos in this batch of photos showcasing some new bookcase ends. We've had things like this in the past, but now we're getting Lugia and Ho-Oh, which just look amazing. Ho-Oh utilizing its power of fire and Lugia using the power of the waves there. Unfortunately, no pricing on those, but it does say that it comes in a two pack. So I'm guessing that this might cost anywhere between 50 to $60 US, but time will tell when we finally get those released out. We'll see what the price is. For my mega fans, we've got the new Motion Eevee up for pre-order on Entertainment Earth, and this is literally the only image I can find of it, but we've had others like this in the past with Gyarados and Pikachu, Butterfree. The whole set is $97, but it is 1,381 pieces, so Hopefully that keeps you busy for a couple hours. This past week, the English Pokemon Center had quite the week with updates. So first up, we have this Venusaur created by first four figures. This is the final of the Kanto trio being released. And it comes with LED light up features. The statue measures at 7.75 inches tall, 10 inches wide and nine inches deep. And this whole thing weighs six pounds. Which is, so that's pretty hefty for a figure and is limited to 1,050 units. These things are pretty cool, but it's just a price point that I can't quite afford on just one figure. More in mine and probably other people's price ranges are these new collection of posters. These are the all-time favorites line of art, it's called, featuring Pokemon like Pikachu, Charizard, Gengar, Slowpoke, Snorlax, and Sveal. So you'll get a lot of love lately. But these are really cool. They come in just regular posters, so you can hang them up like a traditional poster, or you even have framed options if you like that instead. And there's new plushies. Who doesn't like new plushies? So we have this new group of plushies featuring Charcadet, Heroform, Palafin, Tinkatink, and Grafii. They're all here around seven inches or so tall, and each one costs $15, so not bad. And these basically remind me of the Sitting Cuties line, but I don't think we're gonna get this generation for quite some time, so this kind of fills that gap for us. Then we have this other line for spring slash Easter, post spring and Easter. We've got the Happy Spring line uh, hitting Pokemon Center this past week with new plush keychains and new plushies, all with this kind of uh, like fuzzy, furry, kind of shaggy look to them, but super cute. And we have just a nice collection of Easter themed Pokemon. I love that Score Bunny as a part of these every year now. I'm a big, I'm, I'm a big Score Bunny fan. Then over in China, I found these are really cool figures. I really wish I could get my hands on them. These are made by Funism, and they're just absolutely amazing looking figures. This wave is including Garchomp, Gardevoir, Gyarados, and Magikarp. It's lots of G Pokemon, other than the Magikarp I recognize. It doesn't start with the G, but seriously, these look amazing. I hope that Pokemon Center brings back figures like this, because they used to just have these cool gallery figures. I don't know, these remind me of those. A lot of you ask, that's what those figures are up there. There's, those are the smaller ones. But they also made larger ones like this. I've got some video unboxing those. Uh, up, I'll throw them up there in the corner. But since EUC was this past weekend, here's a couple codes for you. But you gotta move quick. This is today is the final day for this one. 
So if you want to get a free Iron Hands based on the Iron Hands from Marco Silva in the Latin America Championships, use this code FAKEOUTEUIC. You'll replace some of the things with numbers. But this code is only good until April 8th, 23.59 UTC time. So like one minute before midnight. And that's UTC time, which if I did my calculations right, forgive me if I didn't, that's like 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. And for my PTCG Live players, there's a code to get yourself a Raging Bolt Special Illustration Rare. You use this code BURSHROAR, EUIC24. That code lasts a little bit longer, technically. It lasts until April 15th. However, there's only 100,000 of those that they're giving out, so there is a limited quantity. So jump on those, move quickly. And speaking of cards, we have the latest trademark for the Japanese cards. This trademark was for the upcoming set called Paradise Dragona. It's quite the name there. Assuming that this set's going to be focused a lot on Dragon Pokemon, but it won't be coming out till around Q4 of this year in Japan, which then will take part in some of the English sets that will happen after that. But I don't know, kind of exciting. Dragon, who doesn't love Dragon Pokemon? Coming up sooner than that on June 21st, we also have on the English side the Palafin EX box. It's going to come with a regular and jumbo sized Palafin EX promo, a hollow Finizen, and a hollow Palafin four booster packs and a code card all for $22. Also on June 21st we're going to be getting the third installation of the Battle Academy sets. Actually, I actually have the first one back there just hanging out sealed but this is the third one featuring actually a really cool wave of decks inside of it. Each box comes with three decks. So this third version you're going to be getting Pikachu, Armor Rouge, and Darkrai. Super cool lineup and a pretty good product like I think one if you're looking to collect something long term and also if you're actually looking to learn how to play or maybe play with the kids family whatever it is these is honestly a pretty good value they're only 25 bucks so might not be bad to buy a couple of them keep one sealed play with the other one I don't know but spend your money wisely and then on Pokemon Center there was also a new two-pack blister that showed up on the website this comes with three holographic cards of Palafin, Baxcalibur, and Garganicle, which is just fun to say. And that product runs $11 for those two packs. But hopefully you won't get any new blisters from hitting that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button as well. Lining up some new videos for you guys coming out real soon. But if you want to catch up on anything in the past, I've got videos up here like unboxing those deluxe gallery figures from Pokemon Center. Those were seriously some of my favorite figures. So go ahead, check those out. Whatever YouTube's recommending, Choose your own adventure. Take care of each other out there, and I'll see you very soon on the next one.